Every year, farmers are looking for the next big thing when it comes to seed varieties. That's why field days, like one recently hosted by Pioneer, are so important as producers get a first-hand look at the latest research. Damon Jones was in Mitchell County, and he has the story. Years of research and testing are represented right here in these fields as Pioneer hosts their annual field day in Pelham. It was a chance to not only show off their latest corn varieties, but also pass along their knowledge to the farmers. We make a concerted effort to be on the farm and in the field. Uh, we do extensive tests on our products before they become uh, commercial and after they become commercial. And we kind of know where they need to be placed and the populations uh, that they perform their best. And, uh, and we like to pass that information on uh, to, to our growers, and, and this is one of the best venues to do that. And that information is vital for these visitors as they must deal with an ever-changing growing season. You know, farming is a very inexact science. Um, there's a lot of technology that goes into this, and, uh, but it's still not perfect. We're still in the mercy of environmental conditions. We're still at the mercy of diseases, and we never know what the uh, years don't present us. And that's really the main reason for this type of event, as farmers get a chance to see the latest varieties on the market and ask agronomists any questions they might have about their field. It's this information that should help produce some of the uncertainty. We, we want to have a package so that we can uh, help uh, reduce your risk, uh, a package of uh, disease resistance, uh, a package of different maturities. And again, we're basing that on, on lots of different trials across Georgia and Alabama so that we can hopefully predict the future and, and give you the most risk averse and the best bang for your buck. As for what researchers look for in seed varieties, it's really quite simple. Uh, number one is the yield. Uh, you got to have a good disease package and uh, you also have to have a product that will stand. Um, you know, it's always a balance because plant breeding is always going to be a give and take uh, trying to find the optimal balance between yield and defensive traits in the plant. And with so many varieties on display, it's not easy for the farmers to choose which one is right for their field. That's why it's so important for the farmers to ask questions before making a decision. You, you want to spread your maturities out. Uh, you, you, want to, you want to base the population on, on where it's going to be going. Uh, is it full water? Is it dry land? Is it, is it beach sand? Is it red clay? Uh, there's not a one size fits all. But rest assured that whichever one they choose will be a high quality seed as each and every one of these varieties have been thoroughly tested. It really takes probably close to 10 years before uh, uh, you really have a commercial product. Uh, corn, uh, as many probably know, is a hybrid. So it's take two inbreds, crossed, and, uh, and that creates your hybrid plant. Uh, once that hybrid's cr created, uh, there's four to five years of testing of that hybrid to make sure that it has the yield qualities we want, the standability qualities we want, and the disease qualities we want. Reporting from the Pioneer Field Day in Pelham, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.